Heights in Morgantown, West Virginia. Welcome everybody to College Football Primetime with the Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers. The wins. These are just a couple of teams, a couple of schools separated by just 70 miles of interstate. Pittsburgh winning the toss and deferring to the second half. Tavon Austin back deep for the Mountaineers along with Mark Rogers for West Virginia. And we are underway. And it bounced out of bounds at the two yard line. This pit defensive line, number one in the country in sacks with 40 sacks on the season. Brown to pass, and he's going to be sacked, as you mentioned, sacked. That's the 41st of the season. Romeus and each place. Stull. Complete at the 40 yard line. Nice catch on the play by number 82, Jonathan Baldwin, who picks up 10 and foot five. Goes up and gets the deep ball, kind of like a former pit receiver, Larry Fitzgerald. That's pretty good company. Deion Lewis still on his feet across midfield and a first down at the 50 yard line. He picked up another second down and eight. Lewis again dancing outside all the way down to the 33 yard line and another first down pushed out of bounds by Miller picked up 13 for <laughs> old age offense third down and two Lewis trying to get to the edge and he's set brought down for a loss at the 29 yard line they'll lose about three on the play fourth down Hutchins coming from about 46 yards out he's 15 of 18 on the season a high snap and he pushes it off to the right. He can't help but be pulling for a guy like this in his last game in Mountaineer Stadium. 21 seniors playing for the final time here. Brown, one of them, competes the pass to Jock Sanders for the first down on pit side. Tough loss last week at home against Kentucky. On the reverse this time, Bradley Stark still on his feet. And another Mountaineer first down at the 36. He picked up 13 on the play to West Virginia. <laughs> Brown on the quarterback option keeps it himself. And they're going to say that his knee touched all the way game in the backfield. Jared Brown's going to keep it. Got a blocker in front of him. And he picks up the first down for the Mountaineers. Down to the 20. On someone his own size. I mean, he's 6'8". At, Mark, look at the size distribution out here. Wide receiver <laughs> between these guys. On the receiver screen, the pass complete. That's Tavon Austin. And Austin made a nice move. The movie our other night. So it's some combative <laughs> psychological warfare going on this week with the movie flicks, huh? 11th play of the drive around the edge. Sanders. Jock Sanders using that speed and that burst to make it inside the. Jock Sanders, the inside receiver to the bottom of your screen, the leading receiver for the Mountaineers. Ready, Brown keeps it himself, and he's not going to make it. Jared Brown stopped up at the two yard line by Greg Romeus. Mark fullback in the game, so this is their power offense right here. Fourth and goal. Brown looking to throw and sacked back at the 12-yard line. The Pittsburgh defense responding. Gus Mustakis getting there first. Incomplete intended once again for Dickerson. This time he couldn't hang on to it. He was that felt pretty good right then that that game made a huge impact. And second and four. Nice run by Noel Devine, and we go down to third and nine. Brown open over the middle to the 39-yard line and another first down. West Lions picked 10. Devine trying to bounce it to the outside. Noel Devine pushed out of bounds, and... Mountaineer fans looking for a late unmerciful when they see the shots of him going down that <laughs> catwalk. Third down and five. 
Well, the Tyson Beckford of quarterbacks completes that pass. That's Arthur. Looking at third and long, nine to go. Brown downfield and overshoots his man out of bounds. Showed you a little bit of arm strength that time. It was an all season. Brown trying to do it himself, and he won't get it. For the second time tonight, the Pittsburgh defense stones them. This time coming up. Backside pressure. Stahl got it away, and Baldwin at the other end of it making the catch for the first down at the 34-yard line. On second and 10, a little heat dialed up. Stahl delivers a strike. Boy, what a throw. He threw that before Shanahan, his intended to Michigan. And we can keep going down that tree of the what ifs if West Virginia would have won that game. Nice run around the end by Dion Lewis. And Lewis gets the first down for the Panthers. Gordon Dickerson, number two, that tight end, Mark. You see him lined up at tight end. He's been quiet so far. Stole into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Baldwin. Still looking for the game's first points. And we just got him. Yeah, Mark, strange things happen in this game. Always a third and six. Brown tucks that ball away and is brought down at the 35 yard line. He picked up one, but it's four. Stall picked off at the 45 by Tandy. And West Virginia has a first and 10 at the 40-yard line. For Tandy, it's his third interception of the talked about the dedication of this team over the last couple of weeks. Yet to pay off on the scoreboard. This is divine. Well, Tiptoes out of bounds. And you got that kind of quickness. You can pick up 30. Brown sets his feet. And fires a dart once again to start. This one is caught at the 18-yard. Those senior players for all their work and sacrifices over the years. Third and two. Brown hands it off. And a first down at the two-yard line. Noel Devine. Tyler Bittencourt into attempt a field goal from 20 yards out. And he knocks it through to knock the game at three apiece. With eight seconds to go. It's, I think, on that first series and has continued to inspire this offense. I think that was well said by Bill Stewart. Brown completes the pass to Arnett. Arnett picks up five. He was, he's got some juice to him. Brown. Oh, oh what a catch! Complete at the 32 yard line. What a grab by West Line. At the 25-yard line, it's Arnett, but that's going to be a couple yards short. Made his earlier one tonight from 20. At nine for 10 on the season, Mark. Let's it loose. And got it. <laughs> Just inside the upright. And good. <laughs> Complete in a first down. Or close to it, actually, near midfield. Or play action, I think he'll run it. The toss to Lewis in space, and he has plenty of space. Out of bounds around the 20-yard line, and a first down. Lewis turned on the edge to get some of these games late in the season that everybody in the country are going to be watching. Stall hands it off to Lewis again over the left side. And Lewis tripped up at the 13th. But easy on that Tony Dorsett. Okay. <laughs> uh, I had to dust that one off. <laughs> Little bootleg action by Stoll. Incomplete at the 13-yard line for Dickerson, who couldn't squeeze it. He's one for two tonight. And he drills this one through to tie the game at six. 4.46 to go in the third quarter, tied at six. 
Devine on the loose. Noah Devine. Incredibly Devine. Touchdown, Mountaineers. That's all it takes. With speed like Neon Lewis, and says, you know what? It's still my big use, baby. I'm not giving that Russian title up quite that quick. Any next week for essentially the Big East Championship. With a lot of business at hand here. Lewis breaks a couple of tackles. Still on his feet. And he's got lots of six, but he's dragged down at the 32. And you have to say, these are two teams going to the Ball to Lewis. And Lewis got to the edge with a good burst. Got inside the number 56, and Jason Pinkston came in low. You said it. Stole under heat. Unloads for Baldwin. And he couldn't make a play on it. Underthrown again. Bob Stars. His career long is 45. It's wide to the left. So the Mountaineers. Yeah, that used to be a great rivalry. And Penn State, West Virginia. A couple of schools separated by about 72 miles. Devine, last time he touched the ball, he scored on an 88 yard run. This time, not nearly as far. Got a close call for Alabama. And Gene Chiswick's Auburn Tigers playing a real courageous game. Lewis. Now to the 28 yard line. Nice move. And finally brought down by Reed Williams. He picked a couple of talented tailbacks. Pender Stamp are trying to on this game. Second and one, Lewis's turn. And Lewis got the first down out to the 31 yard line. Picked up four. First and ten, Pittsburgh. Oh, what a spin move. Lewis. Another great move, and he shook Keith. And Rutgers didn't offer him. It was again between the tackles. And this time wrapped up by Tandy. Tandy made sure that he put both arms around him that time, limiting that gain to just three. Stole picked off by Sands. The second pick of the night for the Mountaineers. Mark Kennedy, Glover, and Sands. Mark, those three safeties. There's Brown. Delivering wide open. Arnett. First down, Mountaineers at the 26. Better help those offensive tackles in protection. Devine on the handoff. Made a great move. Devine turns it out, but ran out of turf. <laughs> a 10-point game. Uh. And he just got it inside <laughs> that upright. But hurts himself with a penalty. But they just cannot get the kickoff coverage problem solved here in West Virginia. They stole. Firing complete to Baldwin. A nice straight arm, but pushed out of bounds at the fourth. Offense, a power offense, Mark, but they can throw the ball and they have big play players. Stall looking to throw here. Eluded trouble and got it off in time. Lewis stepped out of bounds. <laughs> Can't come back here. He in. stepped out of bounds and acted like he didn't, huh? <laughs> There's going to be some other people go to. And I know people are stubborn, but you talk about the toughest one of all to defend. Here's Lewis, tough to defend. In any offensive formation, down to the 23. <laughs> Second and 10. Baldwin. And Baldwin pushed out of bounds at the third and seven for Pittsburgh. Baldwin. Incomplete. He hit the ground, and the ball was jarred. Receiver out there getting that ball out of there. This would bring them to within a touchdown. And he drills it through. 
The margin down to seven points. Looks like they're going to blitz him. They're in man to man coverage. They lead the nation in sacks, but boy, Brown picked it up and hit his hot receiver. Bradley starts for the first down. Got rid of it quickly again. It's complete, but short of the first down at the 40 yard line. First and 10, a little over four minutes to go. Pitt's got to get to work. And they call on Baldwin, the number one stunner. As we check in with Reese in the studio, first down for 70 yards. They had zero plays 70 yards, 07, 08. I mean, this is a down the field kind of team now. Well, we've had the offense this pass complete to Mike Shanahan. Between. Touchdown! Mark, he's been high, he's been low, but that time Bill Stahl got what we've been waiting for all night. In a tie game. And somewhere Larry Fitzgerald, <laughs> out in that desert, is watching this, Larry. That's the next Larry Fitzgerald, potentially now. Second and eight. Brown keeps it himself, gets the first down, and then some out near the 45 now. Not much of a rush, and he completes the pass at the 45-yard line to Wes Lyons up there at six foot seven. Third and ten. Brown gonna take off. Brown. Brought down just shy of Ryan Clark in a tailback out of the eye. They give it to Clark. Oh, it's going to be close. Not sure that he got it. Yeah, Ryan Clark, the power back. I, I tell you, it is really close, Mark. It looked to me like he got it. Goal right now. The lineup out of the eye. Ryan Clark, the tailback. He gets the carry. Stumped 43 yards out for the win for the Mountaineers. Bittencourt. He's excited. He got it. They win it. That's what it's all about, Mark. Look right there. They're not saying Bill Stewart was too, too conservative now by playing for the field goal, are they? Tears of joy. Epitomizing the intense feelings in this rivalry. And their counterparts dejected on the other side. Tyler Bittencourt, you have gone from virtually unknown in the state of West Virginia. There's going to be a lot of little number 40 jerseys pretty soon.